What's up everyone? Welcome to a cipher guide for sunset. I've got some very cool traps, cameras, setups in general for both attackers and defenders. And uh, these are very cool. They are very high quality as well. You have one ways. You have busted cameras that are outside of the map and hopefully Riot doesn't patch them, but I think they will be patched. There are some bugs right now where um, some cameras are not being um, uh, placeable by attackers. For example, on a elbow, you can't place a camera as an attacker, but you can as a defender. Uh, there's some stuff that I will update when um, Riot uh, launches the map, and uh, you know those bugs are fixed. And um, yeah, let's get right into it. I'm starting with B site because it's the coolest setup. You get up into the corner here and use the same cross placement as I do. You can also find, uh, you know, a reference point with one of the UI lines. All good, it's good but here. it's very consistent. You. You just stand in the corner, aim where I do, face the camera, and now a trap wire, and you have basically got a one way like on split. It's pretty similar to split, like the same way you activate it and so on, just the camera is a bit different. Trap wire here to stop flankers coming from uh, uh, mid to go behind you, go to the side and so on. When you see enemies in the camera, you activate the cage and just shoot them. It's, it's very simple. And to show you what it looks like when um, enemies are uh, in the in the smoke or um, you know behind it trying to counter you, they can see a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of your foot if they are really far back. Next up, we have a mid hold from B side in the B market. You place a trap while you're here. That's so that uh, people don't flank from behind you or you know teammates don't have to worry about it. You have a teammate holding B side. Camera goes up here, and uh, you you. Don't have to worry about B-Site if uh, you have a teammate there. You place a diagonal tripwire here. You can also do a straight one, but I think the diagonal one like this one is the best. And a cage on that specific spot. Then you go back to the corner, enter your camera, and when you see enemies coming in, you activate the cage, and now you shoot. You can also do this with a shotgun. Pretty effective. It can be a bit difficult to retake a site with a shotgun or, you know, yeah, move around with a shotgun if you're not comfy with it. So whatever weapon, it works. And then you can wall bang if enemies are coming mid as well. But there's a bit of running to do. So if you hear them running mid, you can preemptively move back and be ready for the wall bang. And this is what it looks like when you activate the cage. They don't see the edges and it's a, a bit more difficult for them to uh, shoot the trap. Next up, we have three A setups. And you place a tripwire like this. I'm going to show another one at the end here. Cage, then a tripwire on the side and a camera here. When an enemy is coming in there, you activate the cage, or if they trigger the trap wire, and just shoot. And then you have this one for when they're coming close to you as well. And this is great with shotgun. When you shoot uh, towards the right side with shotgun, maybe not the most damage, but yeah, in case you want to switch up. And that, that was the other trap wire you can do there, diagonal one. For the second setup, camera goes up there, then this one here, and a cage. This is a wall bank setup. You do a trap wire here, and now a one way. Believe it or not, we do a one way here. Use the UI line up and uh, bounce it in the roof. It lands on the light. And when enemies are moving in here, you don't have camera vision on them. So when they shoot the trap wire, that's when you activate the one way. Because, yeah, they will be in the same angle as the trap wire. So no big deal, you know, if, if you don't have camera. And yeah, that's where you shoot. You just spam it. And if enemies are coming in through uh, the other side, well, you have camera vision. They don't really see this position because it is really far up outside of their peripheral vision and they're going to be busy checking other angles. So here's what it looks like when enemies are walking in. You know, they're checking all the corners, everything. No way. No way they look straight up there unless you make noise with the camera. So when you see uh, enemies here, you don't have to tag them. You can ping. And because of the distance from the box there, they don't hear the tripwire there either when it's diagonal. So when they're coming in, activate the cage. You can place the cage however you want, really. And then tag them and shoot them through the box. Simple. Third setup. Camera goes here. Then we do a tripwire over here. And uh, yeah, it goes like that. Cage. And then a tripwire mid. So for this one, we're going to hold in a different position so that we have more mid control. Like if uh, you have teammates playing on A and B and nobody holding mid. 
So when enemies are coming sight, you see them. When they're coming here, you see them. Activate cage and shoot. And you rely a lot on the trap wire in mid. So if enemies are pushing mid a lot, you can switch up the camera. It's, it's uh, difficult to find a camera that's safe and doesn't get shot out, but has a vision on both both sides with the trap wire. Yeah. So that's why I went with yeah. that one. When you're pushing B side, I recommend these trap wires. And this is for um, attackers, of course. So trap wire there, so that you stop flankers. And then a trap wire here, so that you st stop people coming from behind oh, you. Nice and uh, this is because if you, if you do a specific trap wire that covers mid, for example, you want double layer protection in case someone uses an ability on A side because you can't hear it, right? Since you're on B. But if you're at B, you can hear if someone uses an ability here. So it's a bit safer. The, the reason I recommend the long trip wire and not the short one is because they can hide here if they hear a rotation from you. We also need a camera for attacking B main. If you have a, a operator players, if you have aggressive uh, duelists or something that you want to deal with, this camera is great, but also you get vision in, in the mid. When you want to attack B site, a great camera is this one. It might not seem like it works, but it does. Hopefully that they don't patch it out. And then a busted, really busted post plan camera. This camera in the bushes. You can see enemies when they're coming in from spawn. Really busted. And uh, hold on. I don't have a lineup for this yet. But I will make one, if Riot doesn't patch this out, this camera here. This will change a lot of post plants because you can see through the glass if enemies are going for plant for the fuse. Yeah. If you want to push A site, the, uh, the traps change a bit. Yeah. That's because of yeah, no good trap wire spot for both uh, from spawn as well as mid when pushing A. So you go for this, oh, this one. And yeah, you have double protection. Another camera here. If you want to check early, enemies pushing in through the window. Great. And then if you want to push up here, you want to get some info. Is anyone hiding around the corners? Pretty good camera. Elbow is bugged. So it's kind of difficult to find a good camera there. But I will go for, uh, I will go for some uh, updated cameras in the future. If you want to push mid, or if you want to hold mid, I mean, yeah, this camera is great. You know, if you lurk, you, you want to deal with people coming in. If you want to push, though, you can use any camera. And if you want to go in here into B market, I highly recommend the camera on the corner here. And that's so you can see everything around you. And that's all. Thanks so much for watching.